Hockey, a game of finesse and physicality that stresses structure, strategy, and simplicity. For most players, the routine is simple, gear up and go, but for one player in the Western Hockey League, it's a tad more complicated. I'm Anthony Ass, I'm a Vancouver Giant and I have type 1 diabetes. The 17 year old from Richmond has been living with diabetes since he first threw on skates. While conditioning is key to every athlete, for Ast, the process is even more important. Obviously, I gotta keep in touch with my body. Like, I have to measure my blood sugars between 5 and 15 times a day, depending if I have games or practices, whatever, and I gotta watch what I eat, I gotta make sure I'm eating enough, I gotta make sure I have enough insulin in my body, whether it's doing shots of insulin or it's just monitoring my blood sugars. It's just one of those things where you have to be on top of it and if you're not, it, it's not good. But I've been, I've been always gotten praise from my doctor saying that I've been amazing about it, so I'm gonna keep on doing that because it's something that I have to be on top of if I wanna make it to the next level. At intermissions, while some players adjust their pads, Ast begins his routine to maintain his blood sugars. All right, so this is my like finger poker. I like to call it that. It's a, it just measures your blood glucose levels, and uh, in here there's you got 25 strips that I use when you take it out. They look like this, and you insert this end into the tester, and right here is where you put blood. This is the poker. It's a little needle, pretty much. There's a little needle right there that just goes into your finger for and it draws a little bit of blood. So you just, sometimes it doesn't work. At that time it did, but um, you get a little bit of blood, just not, not too much, but not, not like so there's not enough to get onto the strip, but you just take it, you put it on the strip like this. It counts down from five, and then it just gives you your reading of what your blood glucose level is. Right now I've got a little bit of a high blood sugar, so I just gotta, I gotta take an insulin shot, so I got my needles and my insulin in here, and I'm using a quick-acting insulin that'll start get into my um, bloodstream right away and it'll help bring my blood sugar down. And I still use needles. I know people use pumps now and things like that, but I'm using needles still. So you just got to prepare the needle like this, just pump it a few times, make sure it's good to go. I, I like to roll my insulin or shake it just so there's no bubbles or anything in it. And then you just go like this, and I'm probably going to do eight units or so. Just draw eight units out like that. Put the lid on and then I always do my shots in my in my stomach area. And then right in here is where after I do my reading I write down my what my blood glucose level was and I just write it down into the, write down when it was, what time it is, and then if I do need insulin or something like that, I write down what, how much insulin I did and at what time I did that. Just in case the worst does occur, team trainer Nick Murray is educated about Anthony's condition. So if Anthony came off with, uh, with really low blood sugar at practice or game, I'd have to grab uh, the glucon injector like I talked about before. So it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm not going to use it now, but... You just have to mix the two solutions and then I just I give, in, give Anthony the injection and then, then that, that makes his, uh, his liver release sugars into his blood. Normally when he comes off at practice, he comes and grabs a little lunch kit like this one, cookies, juices. Juice is sort of his, his normal favorite thing, so he'll come off, sit down for five minutes, have some food and drink, and then he'll be right back out there. Despite diabetes, it doesn't affect how Anthony plays. Anthony Ass takes it on the right side, moves in, shoots and scores. Anthony Ass gets one here, right back is the answer for Ass. For me, it, it even brings me into my element even more because I was diagnosed in my first year of hockey, so I've had diabetes ever since day one and ever since I started playing. So it's kind of a reminder that I'm in my element and this is what I'm going to do and this is what I want to do. and it's. It makes me, it's a realization factor that I'm here doing it and that I'm on my way to doing it at another level maybe and hopefully that's what I plan to do. With over 3 million cases of diabetes in Canada, only a handful of players have made it to the NHL. Free agent Nick Boynton and Toby Peterson of the Dallas Stars are the only current players, but the most notable one, Bobby Clark, who won two Stanley Cups with the Philadelphia Flyers back in the 1970s. 
Head coach of the Giants, Don Hay, who's coached in the NHL, describes what Anthony needs to do to get to that level. Uh, making sure that he looks after himself and making sure he doesn't get run down and just his, uh, you know, obviously his diet, his rest, uh, his conditioning. Uh, you know, other than that, I don't think there is a hindrance. I think that, uh, you know, for him, he works hard on and off the ice. Uh, you know, he understands the game. He's a smart and skilled enough player to, to keep up at, uh, at any level. So he's just got to continue to grow uh, physically, uh, continue to look after himself, continue to, continue to monitor, monitor himself. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, there's no stopping. It's... It's one of those things where you go to bed thinking about it, you wake up thinking about it. You're at school and you can't focus on school because you're just dreaming about playing in the NHL. And it's one of those things you just dream about and I'm so passionate about it. People doubt me ever since I was diagnosed saying like, yeah, he's a good player, but he has diabetes and that's going to keep him back because scouts aren't, are going to think that's a problem or teams are going to not want to pick him or whatever. But for me, that's just really fuel to the fire you just want to keep going and you want to prove people wrong that's what i'm trying to do despite having diabetes ass will continue to turn scouts heads in hopes to make the nhl to ass his shot scores anthony ass top shelf on the rathjen in tight beat him on the blocker side make it six nothing Feel so close to you right now, it's a force field. I wear my heart up on my sleeve like a big deal. Your love bars down on I me, mean, surround me like a waterfall. And there's no stopping us right now. I feel so close to you right now. Yeah.